Yo, it's ALG. Welcoming everyone back to Let's Play. So we code in three. In the last episode, we were trying to get some knickknacks. Uh, now we'll probably. Eh. Oh no, not another cutscene. Crap. Uh. Okay, so... Is this gonna be the end of the cutscenes? My god! It's like, every footstep, cutscene. I wanna go over there, cutscene. Can I go over there? Cutscene. <sighs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, turning away. Oh, Jetto's like, turned all the way around. I think they're trying not to be noticed. Hmm. Oh, off they go. If only I could play uh, Right of the Valkyries. I don't know about that because it's probably copyrighted, but whatever. Don't, 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 don't. There you go. There's your Right of the Valkyries. It's all you're getting. Hey, lady! <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Yes, please do. Let's get some progress going. I'd like that. But anyway, before we do that... We gotta find... Ah, here we go. The Arabian Kennel. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I hate it when you gotta do that. Um... Well, great. Now what am I going to throw away? I don't have to do the pork bun. Great. Pork bun. Anyway, now... Now I faked you out there, huh? <laughs> I believe we have one more... I think there's a script around here somewhere. I'm not sure. But scripts are good. You want to collect those. Uh, especially if you're going to do uh, plays. I'd probably, I'll probably cover some plays. In the uh, in this let's play, but probably not every single one of them. Did I just save there for a minute? And yeah, I can't do every single one of them because I was unable to transfer my sweet code and two data into my sweet code and three data for some odd reason. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so I don't I, since I didn't know how to do that, and since people wanted me to do this LP so badly, I just kind of rushed it and said, forget about it. But other than the scripts and some of the bonus dialogue that you get, there's not really much that you benefit from uh, from the PlayStation One. It's nothing like it's not like you can get Ryu as a secret character in this game. I mean that would be awesome, but like Ryu, Joey, and Nami, like you get all three of them. That would be that would be really awesome. I would love that, but not in this game. They didn't really think that future uh, through. I was kind of disappointed with that, but... Uh. Okay, so this guy... Who is this guy? He looks really, like... I don't know. Weird. Selling! I'm selling! He looks like a douchebag. Alright, so all of you Sweet Code and Veterans should instantly know what this is. It's the Star Dragon Sword.
And he's still smart mouth. Hasn't changed since Sweet Coden 1. For 1,000 potch, you get to duel me. If you win, the sword is yours? What? So I have to pay $1,000 or potch to fight you. What kind of bargain is that? Yeah, here you go with the servant thing. Oh, lord, let's not even go there. You're talking about Bear, right? Well, he's actually talking about Victor, but... Victor apparently trashed him. I'd say it was about time. I would probably get tired of that sword, too. Ah, <sighs> stupid sword. Yeah, I know, right? Oh... Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I want that on my journey. Thanks, Edge. But whatever. We said we have to recruit Edge, so... We have to pay him a thousand potch. I do not understand why they make you do that. Just have the duel. I mean, why do I have to pay... Why do I have to pay him in order to duel? But anyway, this guy is pretty easy. Go easy on me. Yeah, right, but, um... He's really no different than Lucia or anybody else we fought up against. His attack is a little bit more uh, powerful. I'm trying not to yawn here, it's like 2 a.m. here. But um, his attack is a little bit more powerful, but if you play your cards right, you shouldn't get hit at all. I'll end this the right way. Well, that either sounds like attack or... Yeah, that's what I figured. That sword is like highly unlogical because he's like dragging it like that. Probably not the best uh, weapon to do in a duel, but whatever. Alright, so Death Blow works on that comment. I mean, I hope this is helping you guys because, um. Depending on the comment that they do, you can uh, predict their moves while doing that. So if it sounds like he's going to do, like, a defend position, uh, then do, like, an attack, you know, if you, you know, you guys know dueling by now, right? I'm not myself today! Hmm. Crap, that's a hard one. I think that sounds like a defense. Yes! I was right. Oops. Ah, oh, die already. Don't get cocky now. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Is that a Star Fox quote you pulled off on me? Oh, man. Yay! He's dead. I don't know about the Star Dragon Sword. Do I have to fight that stupid thing again? Oh. It was powerful in Sweet Coden too, man. You gotta tame that shit. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess we'll take it. Well, yeah, we all know who that is, but what was the point of this? What? Weird. I have no idea what all this was for. Well, at least you have a thousand potch. Stupid hobo. Oh, God. Um... So yeah, uh, apparently Victor gave up the Star Dragon Sword, which is pretty funny now that I think of it like that. Uh, much uh, against uh, popular belief, I do not believe Victor shows up in this game as a cameo role. I don't think he does. I've never seen him, personally, and I've gotten really far in this game, so... Uh, no Victor. 
my I don't know, no flick either so those those dudes are in retirement by now so all right I'm gonna save again all right so uh, yeah we got that done you should always save before you go out on like major any things for that matter I don't know what to say it but uh, hmm. I think uh, I think other than that we should be all good uh, Edge as a character, eh, I think he's a pretty good tank, but I there are better, much better tanks in this game than Edge, in my opinion. But um, yeah, like, well, there's this person that we're gonna meet uh, pretty soon, and she's really good. And there's actually a there's actually a pretty nice backstory behind that one character too. I'm not gonna say her name yet, obviously, but. You know, there are a while there are a lot of good characters in this game. You know, it's just hard picking and choosing. Uh What the heck, Queen? A little bit pro feminist there, aren't you? I mean, not that feminism's a uh, a bad thing, but you no. Know, let's just say that you uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, I guess we can just pass her off. I mean, we can pass Queen off as tomboyish, you know, if you haven't accepted that by now. But okay, here we go. Just talking crap. Come on, Jetto. Let's go. Oh my God, these two. Huh. I don't know, Queen's got some backstory that I'm itching to learn about. Again, there's a lot of speculation on her being uh, Princess Jillia from uh, Sweet Coden 2, but I can barely see a connection between her and Jillia Blight. Barely. But how? Why, why, why would she end up in a mercenary unit with her hair cut off like a guy's? I don't understand that. I mean, Queen's just odd enough the way she is, you know. I mean, she's she's all right, but I don't I don't know. I don't know. Oh, magic broom. <laughs> I bet you're using that eastern magic uh, Ace was talking about earlier. It's time to play Quidditch. <laughs> Jox actually does something for once. Sorry. Oh. Well, anyway, this is ALG signing off, and I will see you guys later. I'll just save right here. Later.